Welcome to Maya Tutorial 2023 from Multinet Business and Design. In this tutorial, we are going to teach how to create wardrobe, simple wardrobe in Maya. You simply go primitive to create everything. So we start open polygon, click on key. Select and take it up. So you just specify the how you want the thickness to be. So yeah, is it that you use a scale? Scale it down a bit. Good. Press F. Then press space back on your computer to give you the four side. Press this and click move and raise it up. Okay. Press space back again. Come to the middle. So what you need to do is just to transform this particular one. Duplicate it and get everything you want to get. So press Ctrl D on your computer to duplicate the cube. So move it out. So what to do next is to scale it down from the top bit scale down. Then his side scale it down again. So if you do that. Press, click on rotate, rotate it to minus 90 degree, or just press 90 degree, alright, so move it to keep close, press F so that you will get the you get accuracy of what you are doing. So you can decide to scale it up with good. So press F, go to the front side, move it. So this particular one, duplicate it again, press Ctrl D, then take it to the right hand side. Press here, you see that you have the two in place. So the next thing to do is to duplicate this one again and rotate it. Duplicate and rotate, rotate it horizontally from the rotation of white hashes from the channel box type 90 degree and press enter I'm sorry zero degree and press enter so you move it press enter go to side view press focus so that you will spread around you can increase, change the scale again, increase it a bit. Okay, reduce the scale. Okay, so move it to the middle. You can take it up from there. Move it up. Now, to get it accurately, rest upon the so right click and say select edge select this no select uh, fatis so this fat is now you move this fat is to towards right you click this fat is and move it towards left so press enter 
so you've done what you need to do so this particular one again all you need to do is to create ctrl d and bring it down you can do that from any view that you know you can accomplish what you want to do so use that press f to move close so if you are not seeing anything where your keyboard just press sorry press one press three i mean press one again press transparency which is four okay as you press transparency which is four you are able to see all the lines that you are doing so bring them back press and go here so as you've done that the next thing to do is to create the the kind of standing you want it to have here if you want to express it to let it go down fine if you want it to stand on something good but here the kind of transfer the leg i want to use is to bring something different into it this one i start at the back and this one i have to get a it's something like a standing leg so create i'm using polygon then i'm using cylinder click it so your cylinder i want to divide it into two by going to so divisive heights two so i have it like that now I select an object press escape on your keyboard press select then what you do is to click on edge move close select edges then scale your edge the middle scale it down a bit okay so select object use then scale it down click on move move close to what you are doing press enter okay so scale it up a bit to accommodate the whole space okay now just by moving to right hand side then you duplicate another side of it so control control d duplicate it then shift and select go to side control d then you move this one particular one a bit inside as well okay so you've given it appropriate leg so the next thing to do is to demarcate the inside click ctrl d bring this down a bit the middle stand the middle wardrobe ctrl d rotate this click on rotate so I send the Y axis click on 90 degree then scale it down from up down press your go to the front side move down move it move it move it then you adjust this one a bit up okay so you can add the market this one to your standard or you do this one and duplicate it ctrl d ctrl d fine so you've done that go back to your your to the orthography view so now you need to do the the front cover 
what we want to do is to use the back side just come to D there then just bring it front okay scale this one scale it a bit then adjust it moving it up press the midges then go back here scale it move it scale it up a bit it to be scaled up move it down so Okay, side by side, then you move to adjust it a bit. Just let it be something in the middle. Okay, zoom out. Now you press fatigues, move that a bit to middle. Ctrl D, press objects, then Ctrl D, the Ctrl D just duplicate and move it by side. I think you get this. Press, so you have it in different place. Now, what you need to do is to create the handle. Let us fix the handle here now. So to fix the handle. You can use a uh, what is it called? Create primitive. Then you use a uh, torus from the channel box. We change the to what we want it to be. Twist it the normal, then change this one to four. Select it again. Change it to four. Okay. Then it to 45 degree. Fine. Press 5 on your keyboard to return it back to shaded view. So, this particular one now, what you just need to do is to scale it down. So, you scale it. You do you rotate it to give you what you want. Type ninety degree beside the rotate type forty five degree first. Okay. So now carry take it up. Move it. Can press for so that you see the transparency of what you are doing. So adjust it a bit, adjust it like that. As you've done that, now you can scale it to suit you. Now there's something we call fix transformation here. You click on modify and just say fix transformation. So fix transformation will, will return everything back to zero for you. And you move it. Right. 
when you press this go by the side pull it out okay that is the handle for you go here select that particular one duplicate it and move it again great so as you've done that now you select and you see your wardrobe in place so you press you press three you press sorry you press four you turn it back to shaded view for you so here now you can decide to change the the color so select all or right click on it and say assign material the material use is favorite surface which is a surface blind so you can change this to the color are you seeing it if the thing is changing you look at it like that that way so this one i want to use this particular shade so i don't want it too much dark and i don't want it too much red. so i select that you see this one you say assign assisting so maybe lambert you didn't change the lambert but what you just need to do change some color aspect as well surface standard i think it's surface standard too okay it's surface standard too so you select like that you still them to assign surface standard too to everything move forward surface standard too so like this one coming out you adjust them inside so and so forth check whether they are not coming out of this side they are, they are post, protruding up and down here so what you just need to do just scale them a bit scale Okay, so that's just the simple method of creating a drop in Revit. So, you can join this together and animate. In the next video, we do a little bit of animation. So, please feel free to share, like our page, comment. We are bringing to you a fantastic.